Welcome to another edition of our well-crafted DMV California written test questions. By repeating this test, you will gain the knowledge and skills needed to pass the DMV written test confidently in just one attempt. iQuist Theory wishes you the best of luck on your upcoming DMV written test. What is the purpose of a traffic citation? A. To reward safe drivers and issue driving licenses. B. To notify individuals of traffic laws. C. To address violations of traffic laws. The primary purpose of a traffic citation is to address violations of traffic laws. A citation is another word for a ticket. It is not a reward for safe driving, but rather a legal notice that informs individuals about their infraction and prompts them to take appropriate actions, such as paying fines or attending traffic school. To merge onto a freeway using an acceleration lane, you should a. Stop completely and wait for a gap in traffic. b. Adjust your speed to match the freeway traffic. c. Drive at a slower pace than the freeway traffic after you've merged. Adjust your speed so that you can safely merge into the traffic when you reach the end of the acceleration lane. Merge into traffic when you can do so safely. You must yield the right-of-way to traffic on the highway. The intersection has a stop sign. Where should you first stop? A. At the crosswalk or limit line. B. After the crosswalk. C. Out far enough to see cross traffic. When approaching an intersection with a stop sign, you should first stop at the stop line if one is present. If there is no stop line, you should stop at the point where you have a clear view of oncoming traffic and can safely proceed after coming to a complete stop. Always make sure to yield the right of way to any vehicles or pedestrians already in or approaching the intersection before proceeding. You should use a turnout lane when a. You want to pass another driver. B. You want to make a U-turn. C. Faster drivers want to pass you. Merge into these areas or lanes to allow cars behind you to pass. You must use a turnout area or lane to let other vehicles pass when you are driving slowly on a two-lane road, where passing is unsafe, and there are five or more vehicles following you. Turnout areas are special areas next to the road that drivers can enter. They are meant to help create a smooth traffic flow on roads without passing lanes or where overtaking may be difficult or impossible. Slower vehicles can then enter a turnout area to let traffic behind pass safely. What is the legal requirement for carrying alcohol or cannabis products in your vehicle? A. They must be consumed responsibly while driving. B. Containers must be sealed and unopened. See open containers are allowed in the glove box. According to the law, it is illegal to drink any alcohol or consume cannabis products while driving or riding as a passenger. If you are carrying alcohol or cannabis in your vehicle, the container must be sealed and unopened. Open containers must be kept in the trunk or a place where passengers do not sit. It is important to adhere to these rules to ensure responsible and legal transportation of such products. When should you use your vehicle's turn signals? A. Only when changing lanes. B. Only when turning at intersections. C. Anytime you plan to change direction or merge with traffic. Vehicle turn signals should be used anytime you plan to change direction or merge with traffic. This includes signaling your intentions to turn at intersections, change lanes, or merge onto highways. Signaling helps other drivers anticipate your movements and promote safe and efficient traffic flow. You may cross a railroad when the red lights are flashing only if a. The lights stop flashing. b. There's sufficient space on the other side of the track. 
See, the train is at least 50 feet away. You must stop when the red lights flash. You need to remain stationary until the lights stop flashing, there may be more than one train. A few crossings have red and green lights. We must only cross when the green lights are showing. A person is allowed to ride in the back of a pickup truck when the A pickup bed has a seat bolted to the frame. The back of the pickup is equipped with a restraint, seat belt, system. C person sits still and does not move around dangerously. In California, it is legal to ride in the cargo area or back of a truck as long as the back is equipped with a restraint, seat belt, system. A federally approved restraint system that restrains you while in the back of the truck. What is the benefit of a space cushion around your vehicle? A. If another driver makes a mistake, you have time to react. B. Your vehicle takes off faster when you have a space cushion around your vehicle. C. You don't have to worry about the driver next to you. Maintaining a space cushion around your vehicle is a crucial aspect of defensive driving, and it provides several benefits for overall safety. A space cushion refers to the open space you keep between your vehicle and the vehicles around you. Here are some benefits of maintaining a space cushion. If the vehicle in front of you suddenly stops or a hazard appears on the road, the extra space provides you with the time needed to break or change lanes safely. If you get sleepy while driving, you should a drive to a safe place, stop, and rest. B. Play the audio loudly and toll down the windows. C. Drink coffee to make you more alert. If you get sleepy while driving, it's crucial to take immediate action to ensure your safety and the safety of others on the road. Driving while drowsy can impair your reaction time and decision-making abilities, increasing the risk of accidents. Get out of the car, stretch, and walk around to help wake yourself up. Some fresh air and light physical activity can be beneficial. If you're still feeling sleepy after a short break, consider taking a nap. A brief nap, 20 to 30 minutes, can help alleviate drowsiness and improve alertness. When should a 3-year-old weighing 45 pounds be placed in a safety seat? A. Under all circumstances. B. Only when driving on the freeway and the child is crying. C. Only if the child is in the front seat and wants to seat at the back. It is extremely important to make sure all children riding in your car be properly secured before every trip. Thousands of children are injured or killed every year because their child passenger safety seats are not installed properly. Remember, most collisions occur within a mile of the home. If you're not confident of how to properly secure your child in a safety seat, contact your local CHP area office and ask to speak with a child passenger safety technician. Where should you keep an open container of alcohol in your vehicle according to the law? A. In the glove box, covered in a paper bag and out of sight. B. In the trunk or a place where passengers do not sit. C. Anywhere within the driver's reach. The law specifies that if you have an open container of alcohol in your vehicle, it must be kept in the trunk or in a place where passengers do not sit. Keeping an open container in the glove box or within the driver's reach is illegal and may result in penalties. This regulation aims to ensure the safe and responsible transportation of alcohol in vehicles. Signal for a turn during the last feet before the turn. A 100 feet. B 50 feet. C 75 feet. Any signal of intention to turn right or left shall be given continuously during the last 100 feet, 
30, 48 meters, traveled by the vehicle before turning. You can signal with your hand and arm or with your vehicle's turn signals and brake lights. You should signal at least 100 feet before you turn so the other drivers can be ready. Check your vehicle's turn signals often to ensure they are working properly. You are on a two-way road and the vehicle ahead of you is turning left into a driveway. You may legally pass the vehicle on the right. A. If there is enough road between the curb and the vehicle. B. Even if you must drive in a bicycle lane to do so. C. Even if you must cross a solid white line painted on the road. In many places, it's legal to pass on the right under certain circumstances, such as when there is a designated lane for passing or if the road is wide enough to allow for safe passing. If the vehicle ahead is turning left and there is enough space to pass safely on the right without violating any traffic laws, you may legally do so. Which way do you turn your front wheels to park uphill next to a curb? A. Parallel to the curb. B. To the left away from the curb. C. To the right into the curb. When parking uphill at a curb, turn your front wheels away from the curb. When you're parking downhill, turn your front wheels toward the curb. While driving, you come across a sign that reads low or soft shoulder. What does this mean? The shoulder has recently been paved with low tiles. The shoulder is not stable or firm. You must use the shoulder as a travel lane. A low or soft shoulder sign indicates that the area beyond the edge of the road has a softer or less stable surface. The shoulder of the road may consist of loose soil, gravel, or other materials that could be unstable. Drivers are cautioned to avoid driving onto the soft shoulder, as it may result in loss of control, getting stuck, or other hazardous situations. You are stopped at an intersection. The traffic light just turned green. Can you go immediately? A yes, other traffic or pedestrians must yield to you. B yes, but yield to any vehicle or person still in the intersection. C. Yes, you now have the right of way. A green light tells you that you can go through the intersection. However, you must first yield the right of way to traffic and pedestrians who are still in the intersection. If you are on a two lane road with an oncoming vehicle approaching and a cyclist ahead to your right, a stop until the oncoming vehicle is past you. B. Drive, between the vehicle and the cyclist. C. Allow at least three feet between your vehicle and the bicycle until you can safely pass. When you cannot change lanes to pass a bicyclist, allow at least three feet between your vehicle and the cyclist. Slow down if you cannot give three feet of space. This will help you avoid putting the cyclist in danger. What is one of the most common causes of collisions according to the California DMV? Of listening to music while driving and eating behind the wheel. B. Driver distractions. C. Changing the radio station and talking to passengers. According to the California DMV, one of the most common causes of collisions is driver distractions. Distracted driving such as texting, talking on the phone, hands off the steering wheel and other activities is the leading causes of traffic injuries in California, causing thousands of crashes each year. Is the law about transporting alcohol or cannabis products applicable if you are a passenger in a bus, taxi, camper, or motorhome? A. Yes, the law applies in all cases. B. No, the law does not apply in these situations. C. It depends on the quantity of alcohol or cannabis.
The legal regulations concerning the transportation of alcohol or cannabis products do not apply to passengers in a bus, taxi, camper, or motorhome. This exception acknowledges that these types of vehicles have different rules, and passengers are exempt from the same restrictions imposed on drivers of private vehicles. What is the legal blood alcohol concentration, BAC, limit for individuals over 21 years old when driving in California? A 0.01%. B 0.04%. C 0.08%. For individuals over 21 years old, it is illegal to drive in California with a BAC of 0.08% or higher. This means that if law enforcement measures your BAC and finds it at or above this limit, you can be charged with driving under the influence, DUI. When dealing with traffic congestion, avoid a talking on your cell phone. B. All of the listed answers are correct. C. Slowing down to look at collisions. D. Weaving in and out of traffic unnecessarily. E. Tailgating other vehicles. Small changes in your driving habits can help reduce traffic congestion. Avoid tailgating, following the vehicle in front of you too closely. Unnecessary lane changes, weaving in and out of freeway lanes. Distractions, eating, grooming, talking on a cell phone, texting, reading, etc. Driving a poorly maintained or malfunctioning vehicle. Running out of fuel or battery charge. Under heavy traffic or in bad weather conditions, you should drive. A 5 miles per hour, slower than the posted limit, and stay in the fast lane. Be slower, without blocking normal and reasonable movement of traffic. Seeing no faster than 50 miles per hour. You must drive slower when there is heavy traffic or bad weather. However, if you block normal and reasonable movement of traffic by driving too slowly, you may be cited. If you choose to drive slower than other traffic, do not drive in the number one lane, fast lane. When another driver is close behind you and wishes to drive faster, you should move to the right. What is the purpose of an airbag in a vehicle? A. To provide extra storage space and improve fuel efficiency. B. To be used as a cushion when tired of driving. C. To provide protection in the event of a collision. The purpose of an airbag in a vehicle is to provide protection to the occupants in the event of a collision. Airbags are designed to deploy rapidly upon impact, creating a cushioning effect and reducing the risk of injury to the driver and passengers. Who issues a traffic citation? A Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV. B. Law Enforcement. C. City Mayor. A traffic citation is issued by law enforcement officers, such as police officers or traffic patrol, when they observe a driver violating traffic laws. It is a means of enforcing road regulations and ensuring public safety. Which of the following statements is true about bicycle lanes? A. If you are passing bicycle traffic, pass with at least three feet between your vehicle and the cyclist. B. Before merging into the bicycle lane, check to see there are no cyclists. C. Do not drive in a bicycle lane unless you are preparing to make a right turn or park. All answers are correct. Do not drive in a bicycle lane unless you are preparing to make a right turn or park. Before merging into the bicycle lane, check to see there are no cyclists. If you are passing bicycle traffic, pass with at least three feet between your vehicle and the cyclist. When making a right turn, you must enter the bicycle lane at least 200 feet before you turn. That's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and of course let's discuss any comments you have for us. We very much appreciate your feedback.